Hey y'all, this is Emily and I'm going to be showing you how to um, import images with Lightroom. And it's really simple and I promise you'll get the hang of it really quickly. Um, there are just a few things you need to do first. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is where my Lightroom opened up. Um, Whenever I open the program, it's just um, some old pictures I've been going through and re-editing just for fun. But what we're going to do is click on File in the top left-hand corner, and then click New Catalog. And then we're going to name that catalog. And um, the pictures I'm going to be using today for this tutorial are going to be of my dog, Augustus. Um, Augustus tutorial files ha okay and then this this sometimes will pop up to ask you to back up your catalog file um, so it'll just make sure your files not going to be corrupted whenever you come back to it the next time so I'll just go ahead and click click back up it shouldn't take that long at all and then it'll restart with the new catalog that you created and a catalog is essentially a folder or a collection okay we're gonna do that just tell that no I need to turn that off okay so in order to import a photo we have to make sure we are in the library module so you click on library and this pops up on the side and all you have to do is click on import and the import box will come up. I don't have that many photos that I'm going to be importing just because I just took a few just to show you um, the basics of Lightroom editing. I promise it's really easy. So we've got all of these photos and they've come up and you can see they have the check mark. Now say I did not want to import this one, I would just uncheck un mark it um, and then I'd if I have a group of them that I don't want to import, I can just click on one, hold down the shift key, and click on the end of the group, and click the check mark, and it, it'll have highlighted them all and uncheck them all. Now if, for instance, you want to uncheck them all, just because there are only a handful that you need, you can click uncheck all, or you can click check all if you want to import all of them. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you want to, let me see here, file handling, um, you can make it um, ignore suspected duplicates. So if you create a copy in camera, like if, if your camera supports that, um, I think mine does, but I can't remember, you can make a copy of a photo while you're in the camera and then once you bring it into Lightroom, it'll say, oh, this looks like it's a duplicate. Um, do you want to import it? And then you just click no, go on. Um, and you can use this to make a second copy to, you can check this to make a second copy to the to a backup, which you can have pointed to an external hard drive, um, someplace on your computer, um, whatever you want. I currently don't do that. Um, upon import, all I do is just import them to my external hard drive, and then um, and then after that I will edit them and then <laughs> delete the ones I don't want, and then save the JPEGs to a different external hard drive. So all my RAWs are on one, and all my finished JPEGs are on another. And then you can add to a collection that already exists if you have collections, and we'll get to that later. Over here, you can rename your files. Um, so we, if we click this, we can highlight this. So you can choose the template, and it'll say custom name, X of Y, and then you will go down, and um, basically this is how they'll be renamed if you want to. Um, and if you do a custom name, this box comes up, um, and you can do that. But we're not going to do that. Just I don't, I don't rename my files. Um, but you can if you need to and then close that. Apply during import. You can apply presets 
um, upon import and I'm actually going to be applying one here so we'll do that um, and then you can add key keywords so I'm going to tag this Augustus um, in that way um, in this catalog I can just search for Augustus and these photos that I've tagged Augustus will pop up and the last panel here is the destination so this is the folder that's that it's going to be going to so for me um, I put them in an external hard drive the C drive is what is in your computer so you'll see that says Acer that's the brand computer I have and then C is the hard drive for that um, Gertrude I like naming my external hard drives um, people names and Gertrude sounds like a very sturdy southern woman name so Gertrude is my F drive um, which is an external hard drive connection and then EOS digital is actually the memory card that these are on these photos here are on right now so you'll see all of the available options for you to export or import them to um, so we're going to go with Gertrude and since we've already named this Augustus tutorial files we're going to go and find the Augustus tutorial files um, folder since we did that when we created the collection so let's see Augustus it'll be up here Augustus tutorial files and then you can also put these into subfolders like I said before you can organize them by date you could set up how you want the date to look and then you can just I like to organize into one folder um, but you don't have to do that if you're doing a wedding you can organize um, by date and put each set like you can select just certain ones and put them into a separate folder if you want if you're that snazzy um, with these I'm not going to do that so we're just going to click into one folder Augustus tutorial files and let's click import down here and it will bring in all of those photos and then we'll just let them do that I think because I'm using the screen recording software that it is um, kind of slow and laggy there we go there's my boy look how cute he is oh look how sweet okay and there we go so um, what you're seeing here is the JPEG preview from the camera and then as it applies that preset on import like we chose earlier it'll um, it'll change it so once you load it it'll change the it'll change the photo um, according to the preset you applied that's not very sharp is it but it's still cute okay there you go so that is importing photos into Lightroom I hope that you learned something here if you have any questions about importing please leave it in the comments below this video. Thanks guys.